My father recently built this Lego first order TIE fighter, and he noticed something interesting about the struts on the wings. The strut exists in its unique orientation because it's attached to a lever piece which allows it to rotate into different angles. He noticed that when he went to connect the strut, it seemed to perfectly connect onto the stud. And he asked himself the question, how close is the fit? Is it just close, or is it an exact fit? He also wondered about the other possibilities of where this piece might connect, and if there's any patterns that we can describe mathematically. So here's the problem that we're going to solve. I want to find every stud that will fit perfectly on a piece that is rotating around a point. Ready? Let's begin. Let's start by creating a grid of studs and adding the base of the rotating piece and the long strut. For this example, I will be using the configuration used on the LEGO TIE Fighter. There are two important triangles that we can use, one large one and one small one. We can make this stud our point of origin. Let's define some lengths. This tall distance we'll call H, this one W, this short one we'll call X, this other short one we'll call Y. We know that this length is 0.5, and this important length we'll call L. Now we can add some equations. Using the Pythagorean theorem for the large triangle, we get this equation. It turns out that these two triangles are similar triangles, and this means that we can equate the ratios of two sides of both triangles, which can be shown in the second equation. Our third and final equation is found by using the Pythagorean theorem once again on the smaller triangle. Let's take a look at what we have. We know what W and H are, which in this case, W would be 4.5, and H would be 9.5. We have three unknowns, X, Y, and L. We also have three equations. Since we have three equations and three unknowns, we can solve for those three unknowns. For any stud, we can specify the W and the H. We can then solve for X, Y, and L, and if L turns out to be an integer, then we know that the stud can make a perfect connection with the strut. Using Wolfram Alpha to solve these three equations and picking the solution with positive x, y, and l values, we find that l is equal to 10, which is an integer, and that means the piece should fit exactly. I then created a JavaScript program that made a plot of all the solutions in a large area. What interested me about this plot is that it looked very similar to a plot of Pythagorean triples. A Pythagorean triple is a triangle which has integer side lengths. In our example, having found the values of x, y, and l, we can find that the side lengths are 5.06, 9.5, and 10.76. We can show that this triangle can be scaled to become a perfect 8, 15, 17 triangle, which is a Pythagorean triple. I've looked at many solutions, and each one shows that the triangle formed makes a perfect Pythagorean triple. This is interesting because it's not apparent that the triangle should be a Pythagorean triple, especially since the values of x and y are such non-integers. In the end, I thought that this was an interesting problem with a very satisfying outcome. I hope you really enjoyed this, and please be sure to like, comment, ask questions, and subscribe.